Now, let's not get too carried away, but this is Rust's January of 2023's poker season. It's kind of a big deal. It's about all I got, so let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoy. The January season brings us snow and brings us heavy pockets. Ben Stoner joins us at the table with Pork Rusty Pot, Wizard of Oz, and Q. The stack runs to 150 on this late game before we get the tourney kicked off. The table runs red with two jacks, two diamonds, and two hearts. Wizard of Oz secures the win with a queen three suited and a pair of jacks on the table. The blinds come out now, Q in the action seat. With the bet of 15, raising 5 on the pre-flop to make this one a runner. The call comes in and a raise from Mint Dr. Stoner. Perp with the call calls all around the table as the flop shows a suited draw. It's an ace, jack, four of hearts. On the table, the bet comes in now from Wizard of Oz with 10. Drawing the fold from Q, a quick call and a raise from Mint and the, the raise now from Rizzard, it's a betting war with 30s on the table. 10 more for Dr. Stoner to stay in this hand with the raise again. Rizzard of Oz is going to commit doing up 10 more. It's a 50. Uh, call comes in from Rizzard of Oz as a four draws on the turn off suited. So betting off of that heart draw with three on the table. A 10 comes through with a call. An offsuit king on the river. A short bet comes in from Dr. Stone or Wizard of Oz with the call and securing the win with two pair. Aces high and fours on the table. Bear and Sir looking to join us at the table today as the blinds come out. Actions on Bear with the call and the big blind. Cards come around. Dr. Stoner is looking to run the pot up again with a 15. That's the raise from Q. 45 is on the table. The quick call from Bear not backing down off of that heavy draw. The stack runs to 135 on the preflop runner. 65 from Dr. Stoner draws the all-in from Porp. The call from Wizard of Oz. The raise from Q. 140 as the preflop runs to 465. Actions on the seat. Mr. Doc Stoner with the call as well. 220 and the stack gets heavier. 900 is the pot and a full house in the hands of Q sitting on two kings to secure the win. 900 in his pocket. He'll go ahead and depot. As we get the second hand drawn off, Sir Punch and Dr. Spooner being eliminated on the preflop all in with Q's lead on the early game. It's up to Wizard of Oz and Q now to duke it out till the end. 4.30 is the pair winner, back in the hands of Q, not wanting to call the all-in from him. Short bends as the flop shows. It's a queen-jack-9 off-suited. It's a straight draw, hoping for the 10-king to complete the king high straight. 20 is the bet. It's a betting word between Q and Wizard of Oz as the turn shows a two of spades. The bet comes in, still playing off the draw, but the flush draw shows on the river. Three spades on the table is not going to kick Wizard off this hand, sitting on a pair of pocket threes to beat the table. Unlucky in the hands of Q. Players are buying back in. Dr. Stoner, Kuda, and Master of Dirt looking to join us today. The all-in comes in from Wizard of Oz with 545 on the preflop all-in. Using the action seat with the fold. Dirt's going to fold as well. Dr. Stoner's looking to double up. The cards come out. Wizard of Oz sitting on a pair of pocket eights again. Secures the win with five cards on the table that can win, but nobody can connect those cards. Wizard of Oz secures the bag again. The blinds come out. 70 is the bet from Q on the preflop. The big stack and looking to make some money and all in and a raise to 90 from Kuda. A new face at the table, but not looking scared to play this hand. Raise from Q. 90 is the bet to call on the preflop runner. 330. And the flop hasn't showed. Since I in the action seat with the bet and the call now to 90. The call from Master and the flop shows a King 5 3. Off suited and tough to play this hand with the King's high pair and a 3 5. Kicker, you're only hoping that the straight connects. Q is looking to go all in though with a 275 shove as the stack runs to 650. Sensei already invested half, not worth it to stick this one out. Master of Dirt knows it's a heavy stack, lots of winning to be made here. A second king shows that's not what you wanted to see unless you've got the straight. Kuda sitting on a pair of tens secures the win with 920 in his pocket. Five back to Q and Master of Dirt. 
The blinds are in. Q is the preflop runner with 400, but the all-in from Master of Dirt, 600 on the preflop shove. Dr. Stoner with the call of 100. Good in the action seat now with 10 to go. Wizard of Oz with the call as well. The cards come through. It's a straight draw. Dr. Stoner sitting on the 10 to connect the Jack High straight. Secures the win at 1100 in his pocket. It looks like Q will have to buy back in. He's been eliminated. Q with the preflop raise and the all-in from Master Dirt following the bet. Dr. Stoner's looking to run the rest of these players a hell of a lot of money, though. 157 and the sack is getting out of hand. 650 and the flop hasn't even shown. Sensei with the all-in raise to 257. The stack goes to 830 on the preflop. The call from Dr. Stoner, 1100, 1300, and the pot as the cards come out. It's a straight draw, a 347. An offsuited four, a two shows on the turn, completing the straight draw the five six is a menacing hand at this table but so many players already so invested it's coming down to the big stacks trying to milk everything they can 10 more is the bet that comes out the three shows a three of a kind now can win the hand with the straight draw on the table high cards mean nothing your kickers are gonna win it since i completing the straight with a five ace high 1300 in his pocket it looks like master of dirt will be eliminated the blinds come back in as Sensei, the big stack bully at the table of 14, looking to join us as well, Lil Sexy Jr. A lot of new faces here today. We love to see it. Q with the bet of 70 and the raise from Senpai up to 120. He's got the money. He's looking to make some more. But calls all around the table. Nobody backs down. A straight draw shows an off-suited 357 on the flop. All in comes in from Q. 450s in the stack. The call from Kuda. There's 1,400 in the pile. 1550 comes out. Kuda secures the win with a pair of tens. It looks like a double kill for Q. He'll be eliminated. Buying back in on the blinds after Rizzo of Oz crushing defeat. The big stacks were none other than Kuda and Sensai Simp. The flop shows a 2 3 5 off suited on the short betting. Up to say how this hand will play out with kickers seeming to be the winning hand, but hoping for that high pair on the turn river. The bet is heavy, 85, a 14 is looking to shove. The call comes in from Kuda, 315, it's not a stack to disregard. All you need is a four to complete the ace high straight draw and win the hand. The seven shows on the river, only making the straight draw more likely. A four six completed. It looks like the four in the hands of Kuda to secure the ace high straight and win the hand. It'll be another double kill for Kuda from 14 all the way up to 2000. This player just can't lose. Q is buying back in and looking to make his money back. The all in comes in swiftly from Wizard of Oz with 237, most likely his last 37. The call from Q, the call from Sin Pie, the call from Little Lexi Jr. The draws on the table, two sevens and an ace off suited shows. The cards come out with 1300 and Q wins back his stack, doubling up and putting himself back in the big stack bully position. Wizard of Oz will be eliminated. Who is this guy? Oh, Leo's his name. Nixon's on Leo with the call now. Kuda in the action seat as well. Dr. Stoner is looking to run up to preflop. The raise up to five. Q with the call. Sensei running up to 20 now as the preflop runner leads to 80. The stack is now 90. The call comes in from Leo. Kuda with the call as well. No players are backing down out of this hand. Dr. Stoner is looking to be the controller. 25 is the raise now. Q with the call as well. Sensai with the raise to 30. The preflop runs to 150. These players just aren't backing down. The call comes through now. Leo with the raise up to 40. 45 from Kuda. A betting war runs the preflop stack to 220. 50 is the bet to call now.
325 as the raise from Sensei comes in. A raise from Leo again up to 70. The preflop runs to 350 before the cards are even shown. 75 is the raise now from Dr. Stoner. Q with the call as well. Sensei with the call calls all around the table. The all-in comes in from QJCT. He said enough. It's time to put your money where your cards are. 206 is the bet to call. Leo with the call as well is going to draw out Kuda. The big stack. The call comes in from Dr. Stoner, Q in the action seat as well. With 75 to his card and 206 is the bet. Q is looking to make some money. The stack's at 1,000. You might as well call as the flop shows an ace jack and an offsuit eight. Tough to play this hand. A short bet comes in from Sensei. 10 is the bet to call. Two hearts, two clubs, and a split straight draw. High value is the third heart shows on the river. The straight draw and the flush draw now on the table. Sensei sitting on an 8-5 of hearts secures the win with a flush draw. With 1,000 back in his pocket and securing the big stacks position, Sensei is a player to be feared.